Hey guys, welcome back to the Mega Man Fan Game Showcase. It's been a very, very, very long time since we've last come together to look at a good old Mega Man fan game. And, well, since this video is also a double-sided birthday video for myself, I decided, you know, let's go back to something that is very classic in my life. This so this Mega Man, I almost said Sonic fan game. This Mega Man fan game is known as Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, and it is a literal classic. I've known about this Mega Man fan game since I was like 10 or 11, since I was very young, but it's very classic. The point is, they took every single Robot Master in the classic series and put it into a Doom-style deathmatch game that has an entire story mode. So, yeah, this game has been running for a very long time. I'm currently playing version 6.B, which is the latest version as of, like, March of 2023, which, you know, is being uploaded on December 8th, 2023, so... And therefore, yeah, it's not very new, but it's new as of this year. I'm not planning on beating the entire game, because there is a full campaign. I'm just planning on kind of, you know, messing around with it and celebrating my birthday in a way, since this is a very classic game for me, so. Either way, one thing I need to do is this. The game seems to have a couple of problems still, but right as you start it up, you have a couple of options. You've got single player, multiplayer, player setup, settings, and you can just quit the game. Settings are pretty, they're pretty extensive, and you might recognize them if you've ever played Doom. It's pretty similar to what Doom's settings look like. You've got your controls, your video settings, your audio settings, your UI, multiplayer settings, accessibility, and performance settings. O warning, only edit below if you know what you're doing. Legacy options, just a bunch of stuff. But the cooler thing is player setup. And here you, because this game is a deathmatch game, which is usually a multiplayer game mode, you pretty much get to be any, any robot master in the classic series. This is, that's, that's actually the reason why I waited on playing Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. I was waiting on it because I had not beaten the full classic series. But at this point, we've actually beaten every single classic Mega Man game that includes new robot masters. So, I was like... Seems like the right about a time to actually start doing stuff with it, but my name is not Padayer. My name is Frozen. Frozen with an M. Let's see. Player is known as Frozen. Class, I don't really know what that means. Skin. You like skins? Okay, there's a lot of weird... One cool thing is that uh, this game, because it's built off of Doom... It has mod capabilities, so there's a lot of extra char characters that are not going to be in your version of the mod, like Ash from Mega Man ZX, Base.exe from Mega Man Battle Network, a Breaksin, a Rogue from Mega Man Star Force, Grave from ZX, Harp Note from Star Force, another Harp Note, another Harp Note, Mega Man.exe, uh, Shooting Star Mega Man, Mega Man Juno from Legends, Mega Man Volnut from Legends. Literally Hatsune Miku. Morgana from Persona 5. You see, I knew <laughs> that right after we got done with Persona, we needed to do something Persona related. Renamon, another rogue. Mega Man, Mega Man with hair. These are ones that are actually a part of the game. But we're going to skip through them really quickly. You got Proto Man, Break Man, Bass, other versions of Bass, Roll, uh, Sniper Joe, Otto, Cup Man, Guts Man, Ice Man, Bomb Man, Fire Man, Elect Man, Time Man, Oil Man. These two we have not actually seen because we have not actually played Mega Man Powered Up, but I don't... I probably should have played that beforehand, but then again, I didn't want to play Mega Man Powered Up, so... Uh, Mega Man? <laughs> Metal Man, Air Man, Bubble Man, Quick Man, Crash Man, Flash Man, Heat Man, Wood Man, the random alien guy that took me forever to kill in my playthrough of Mega Man 2, Needle Man, Magnet Man, Gemini Man, uh, Hard Man, Top Man, Snake Man, Spark Man, Shadow Man... The Doc Robot, uh, Bright Man, Toad Man, Drill Man, Pharaoh Man, Ring Man, Dust Man, Dive Man, also Ring Man, your time will come. Uh, Skull Man, Gravity Man, Wave Man, Stone Man, Gyro Man, uh, Star Man, Charge Man, Napalm Man, Crystal Man, Dark Mans, 
all of them. Blizzard Man, Centaur Man, Flame Man, Night Man, Plant Man, Tomahawk Man, Wind Man, Yamato Man, Freeze Man, Junk Man, Burst Man, Cloud Man, Spring Man, Slash Man, another different version of Slash Man, Shade Man, Turbo Man, Literally Duo, Tengu Man, Astro Man, Sword Man, Clown Man, Search Man, Frost Man, Grenade Man, Aquaman, Original Duo, I guess this is the version of him while he was flying around in space, Evil Robot from Flying Around in Space, Dynamo Man, Cold Man, Ground Man, Pirate Man, Burner Man, Magic Man, King, uh, wait, Buster Rod G, I think he's from one of the... Mega Man 9 DLCs. Mega Water S. Hyperstorm. Oh no, these... Uh, now I know what these guys are from. They're from the Wily Tower. There we go. Uh, Concrete Man, Tornado Man, Splash Woman, Pla Plug Man, Jewel Man, Hornet Man, Magma Man, Galaxy Man, Fake Man, Blade Man, Pump Man, Commando Man, Chill Man, Sheep Man, Strike Man, Nitro Man, Solar Man, Mercury from Mega Man V, Venus, Mars, Jupiter... Uh, Saturn, Uranus, uh, Pluto, Neptune, Terra, Sunstar, Rathor? Who? Rathor? I don't know. Uh, Anchor of the Mega Man Killers, Punk, Blade, uh, Quint, Wily Skull Suit, Bad Box Art Mega Man. As you can see, there is a ton of Mega Man. So many man. There's a couple of women, but I'm going to actually choose one of my modded skins because, dude, I got to be Star Force Mega Man. Uh, I could... Other... Okay, at least... I guess I'll go with male. Toggle run, sure. So, press space to see your front and your back. So, I guess... I think this is good. Yeah, it saved my thing, so... Either way, we're not going to be playing any multiplayer in this. I just want to kind of explore and show you guys how the campaign works. Because it's, it's a very interesting little thing. So just go straight into story. Uh, we could go casual, but let's just go normal. Greetings, my name is Dr. White. <laughs> These voices back. Before you enter the tournament, you should recalibrate your control system. Be sure to set controls for your weapons, movement, and jumping in inventory. I, er I already have... Pretty good settings for that, so I am, I am okay with that. Uh, just exit. Don't forget you can change these at any moment through the escape menu. You can also change preferences as you use the mouse options, name, and stuff. Feel free to explore the laboratory and some of my robots be able to assist you in battles to come. You're ready, hop into the heliport and the scene to my right. Don't forget your progress will be automatically saved when you save level, Mega Man. Good luck. Go go fight Dr. Wowie. <laughs> Everybody loves Dr. Wowie. But yeah, if you didn't pay attention to the opening, yeah, that's the story of this game. It's like the Mega Man or the Robot Master Arena tournament from, uh, what is it? Mega Man 6 happens again. And now uh, we got to go beat the shit out of things. But yeah, you get this whole little hub world to mess around with, which is pretty much just Dr. Light's house. Hey, Time Man, we haven't even met you yet. Try use an energy tank when you're under 25% of your health. Energy tanks do you no good if they're destroyed using them, before using them. Remember, your progress saves after every match. Not that you have the time to be goofing around, though. Well, thanks, Time Man. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Hey, Mega Man. Mega Man, come on. Don't forget, keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Fuck you. <laughs> See you on the battlefield, Frozen. Sure. I'm like, uh, sure. Let's see, if we go into here, roll. Hi, welcome to the Robot Master Wardrobe. Are you looking to make a makeover? Just jump into the machine to reprogram your display module. Don't forget you can do this from the options menu at any time. As you can see, we are now Star Force Mega Man. My fa- I don't- I've probably talked about that on the channel before, but Star Force Mega Man is my favorite series of Mega Man, so. Uh, just because I grew up with it and stuff. It was my Mega Man. But yeah, uh, to explain some controls, we can shoot- the Mega Buster using left click and right click. You can also just hold it down. Jump using space. Caps lock is something about running. Let me see. Yeah, if you hit, you can toggle run using caps lock. Uh, tab just shows you all your menu. Uh, shift doesn't do anything, control doesn't do anything. That's kind of your only options currently, but you'll be able to see more of the controls once we get into it. Let's go ahead and mess around some more. 
Oh, it's Rush. You a good dog? Shoot the good dog. Don't worry. Oh, look. Was... Were they in Mega Man... F uh, V? That's Tango the Cat. Another, uh... Of, like, Dr. Light's creations to help out Mega Man. Though I forget if that was, like, introduced in Mega Man V or not. It might have been introduced in a other Mega Man Game Boy game that I've not covered yet. Hmm. Also... I would definitely mark this video as be careful for motion sickness. It can feel very disorienting. Oh, hey, luck man. If Wily's robots are involved, there will be trouble. Expect anything. Oh, thanks, luck man. Oh, guts man. Hey. All right, break time is over. We gotta. We both got work to do, don't we? I mean, I don't want to. Fuck you. I'm gonna sit here and play Mega Man 69 on my shitty NES. I'm currently playing the Mega Mans. Let me play. <laughs> Mega Man, don't let me play Mega Man and Mega Man. Makes sense. Uh, what is... Can I go through this door? Oh, yes, I can. I can go to the outside. There's nothing much out here except for, like... You could technically bathe in this if you really wanted to. Would you like to go uh, skinny dipping in a goddamn barrel? That's how some people do it. If they want to bathe. And it's, you know, not the best idea. But then again, I never said I had great ideas. Hi there, Frozen. Step into the teleporter to begin training. You can test out and experiment with all the weapons and more. Yeah, we'll be able to get into that. Oh, look, it's Oil Man, otherwise known as Racist Man. I hope you aren't one of those thugs who use my oil slider for stalling purposes. Why can't Proto Man just compliment me on my scarf? He really wanted it. Oil slider is a great weapon. You can even ride over random shit. Good. Thanks for letting me know, Oil Man. Bomb Man, we gotta say, sunny days are always the best days for exploding things. I, I cannot disagree. Let's see, what's Fireman got to say? Keep ice away from the fire pillars of my new stage. Don't like them getting frozen. <laughs> Just starts laughing uncontrollably. What, why is his... You okay? Dear Frozen, congratulations. You have successfully placed into the second annual robot tournament. Your combat ID is... 171987. Details on your first match have been sent to your creator slash programmer slash operator. <laughs> we wish you luck in the exciting battles to come. Signed, Mr. X, the real one. Well, that's great. At least we found the real one. Because you're not real. <laughs> Ice Slasher doesn't freeze anything in the tournament, but it does good damage. Why the fuck would I use it then? That's the best question. Where's Beat? I guess... Dr. Cossack isn't here, but I'd wonder where Beat is. Is this an elevator? There's been a lot of new additions to this lobby that I've never even seen before. Hey, Eddie. Let's see, what's in there? Can I go in there? Let me in. I want to break down the window, Half-Life 2 style, or Half-Life 1 style. What is in here? Nothing, I guess. I guess they just store the Robot Masters when they're not in there. I don't get it. Can I write code in the game? What the? It's a... Uh, oh, is this Ryu's costume? Is this supposed to be a reference to Mega Man X Street Fighter? If only that was a real game. I mean, it is a real game, but it's a fan game, so... And just Capcom took it. Alright. But anyway, enough, like, fucking rummaging through, uh... Dr. Light's house. Let's actually fucking do something, so... Uh... Oh, there's Beat. Beat's up there. So is, like, a random thingamajig. But yeah, uh, if you want to start off any of the matches, you have to go over to here. And it shows off, like, a game, a robot master, and then the level. Um, you're not... It, I'm gonna have to explain when we start playing. It's interesting. Alright, press left or right to select a stage and jump to cancel. Let's see, I can cancel it, but how do I enter it? You just shoot. This is a new thing. I've never seen a chapter animation. So yeah, uh, welcome to this. This is very weird. You're not actually facing off against a robot master. You're facing off against uh, a fucking dickhead. Fucking hell, I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> yeah, this is a, not even a team death match. This is a regular death match mode. Let me see, Where where is all these dickheads? Okay, can you please die? But yeah, 
you've got, uh, like, well, a bunch of robot master weapons, and your point is to try and get the most kills in the game. So, you're just trying to murder people for funsies. But yeah, it can be really hard, because the AI is quite tough. The AI is very tough. You were placed in second place. You tied for second place with a frag. Damn. But yeah, the point is to try and get as many kills as possible. Let's see, there we go. Go, Bubbles! But yeah, if you know anything about the, uh... What is it called? The, uh... Whatever it's called. The, uh... The Robot Master weapons? You're gonna be doing pretty damn good in this game. As long as you remember how they work. Oh, motherfucker! No, get away from me! Where's my... Where's the... Where's the... Cutter? But yeah, if you... Oh, damn, I'm in third... I'm in first place! <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! I've got a fucking scissors! These are the Frozen Breeze branded skizzers! Get the fuck out away from me, you fucking dickhead! Goddamn. But yeah, these are not real players. These are, like, AI. So don't worry about, uh, cussing them out. They don't- they're not real. <laughs> you gotta go tell the rest of the Solver Squad that you're not real. There we go. I'm in second place. Shit. Fuck off, you. No, Mega Man. Mega Cunt. But yeah, you just got like a bunch of random robot master weapons strewn about the court. The point is, you just need to get good at using them. Fuck off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this game can definitely make me a bit motion sick just because of all the, all the fucking slamming around. Holy shit, there's a guy around. Yeah, it's it's really cool to be able to use all the uh, the Mega Man weapons. Damn. But yeah, the point is just to get as many kills as possible. I don't know. I think you've got like I don't know. There's a certain amount of time before like the the level ends. You just need to be able to get as many kills within that time. No, Mega Man. Why is the needle cannon so fucking good? I don't get it. Needle Cannon is fucking useless in Mega Man not 9. What? Mega Man 3. Motherfucker. I'm <laughs> like, motherfucker. No, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off. I hate the Gemini laser. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so... At some point, you're not... You're not you lose. <laughs> I don't know how it really works. I guess there's a certain amount of time... But yeah, you're trying to, like, get as many kills as possible. And to not be killed. Like that. Like that, yeah. What'd I say? Don't get fucking killed. Usually the Mega Buster is useless. You kind of don't want to have that power. Let me see. And then grab as many health upgrades as possible. Or else you're going to be big fucked. Alright. Alright, I'm doing better. I'm just learning that... Like, you know, health upgrades are extremely important, just like in the original Mega Man's. I feel so tense these days. What? There we go. Oh, shit! Ah, come on. He got me. I want to get the rolling cutter. Give me the rolling cutter. Let's see, where is it? Where are those bastards? No texting during the battle. No texting during flight. You will die. Come on. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you fucking asshole! Let me see. The wind... Or what is this thing called again? I forget. Airman's weapon is very weak. Where are you, fucking dickheads? I love the needle cannon. I don't know why it's so good, but it is. No, run away! <laughs> I'm like, run away! Those dickheads are coming after me! They're AI, that's all they are, but damn, are they... It's either that they're really good, or we really suck. I'm getting out of here. You fucking ass. Is it the first to, like, nine kills, or seven kills? That could be what it is. Let's see. Go, Gemini Blazer! Come on, fuck off. Okay. Fuck off. Fuck off. He's like, why the fuck are you bullying me? It's like, I like bullying Mega Man. Dude, this ability is so good. The Needle Cannon is amazing. I don't know why. 
I guess it just does so much damage, but I haven't had much to say about this. It's just a lot of fun to play, even when I lose. No, Bubble Lead, go! I'm like, Bubble Lead, please! Fuck off! Damn, I did it. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. <laughs> See, I like how, like, the AI has things to say. But yeah, once you beat a level, you just head on to the next one. There is no actual robot master to fight. There is just a bunch of, like, random AI that really don't like it. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Uh, what is this power? Web? The webs! I'm Spider-Man! Spider-Man attack! There's no Spider-Man, but I'll try. Fuck off, Bomb Man. This power fucking sucks. <laughs> this power is horrible. Damn. Oh, I got the... Is this Guts Arm? Yes, this is Guts Arm. Okay, um... Damn. I have to actually jump up there, don't I? Oh, Search Snake! Guts Man's weapon is still fucking dog shit as ever. Let's see, okay, uh, Search Snake. Search Snake, go! Kill yourself, Guts Man! No! Oh, I'm in last place. Let's see, what is this? Uh, Drill Beam. Or Drill Bomb? Oh, is this the thing from Mega Man and Base? <laughs> is this Grand Man's weapon? Alright, I like Ground Man's weapon. Because it lets me do a million explosives. Back you, you fucking. Oh shit, I'm out of. I'm out of weapon energy! Damn, I killed him. I don't know how I did that. I'm running away now. Oh boy. Oh no, it's Crystal Man weapon. Die! Shit! I'm like, shoot! Let's see. Ground Man's weapon is really good. I'm running away from you. Bye. People are running after me, I can feel it. No, fuck off! There we go, search snake. Where'd he go? Okay. I hear the music kicking in. Shit. Wait, why is Needle Man in here? Was he in here? Yeah, he was in here earlier. My mind has just been thrown all over the place. What the? I got... I got Tangle Roll? What? I don't need a fucking Tootsie Roll right now. Let's see, where the fuck are they? They're over there. A little clusterfuck. Okay. I'm doing okay. I need to get up there. <laughs> I don't know how to use my, my tangles. I don't know how to use my cat. Use verticality to my advantage. Let's see. Maybe it's like a certain amount of like hits I can take. There we go, I'm okay. Okay. Somebody's behind me. Wait, is this Aquaman's weapon? Is this the fucking... Is this the water balloon? Shit. That is Tilda. That does not help me. Come over here, fucking asshole. Okay, I'm in first place. Shit, he's back! Why is he back? <laughs> This shit is mine! Okay. Okay. Stay safe. I have a balloon and you can't stop me. Wait, I don't have any weapons! Fuck! <laughs> like, fuck. Man. I don't want that. <laughs> I like the balloon. The balloon is nice. Bomb man was. The music just changes every now and again. I don't know why. I have a fucking water balloon, you can't stop me! They're really targeting me! Come on, got one? No, I didn't even get that one. I'm out of weapon or energy again. Run! Why did he win? Oh boy, why did he win? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. And then it just makes me go again. But yeah, I think we've... We've definitely seen something out of this. I don't know how we get out of this now. 
Oh, it's... What is this? Did I get Crash Bomber? I guess I did. Fuck you. Well, I don't have anything else to use on you. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well... We've definitely... Done something. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off just for the fun of it. Because, you know, I really enjoy this fan game. And if you can get a lot of friends to come around and play it with you, I think it'd be a massive ton of fun. Because every single Robot Master has a different weapon. There's a million different skins you can choose. There's a bunch of different arenas. I've never actually beaten the story mode, but I'd love to actually do it someday. I just, you know, can't do it now just because I wanted to, uh, you know, at least do something for my birthday that was special. But yeah, I just want to look at this really quickly. So, yeah. Small return to the Mega Man Fan Game Showcase, but I hope you enjoyed it. So, I'll see you guys next time on the Mega Man Fan Game Showcase. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Trey Lafari, Gray, Phoenix, Shell Bagan and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel would not stay afloat. So thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog.